Gotta turn on the motherfucking lights. There, turn on the motherfucking lights. Alright, so now, this is the big dichotomy change for me. Now, when I was studying game theory, which was very interesting, very useful. Now, you start from the beginning, and it's very eye-opening. But this is where I saw a paradigm shift. A dichotomy change, basically. Now, originally, you're taught in the beginning that there's the alpha male that has the harem, he's the bad boy, and then there's the beta male who's the nice guy and he gets little to nothing. I mean, maybe he gets something every now and then, but it's little to nothing. It's the bad guy, the bad boy wins, the loser boy, yeah. Now, with the book of Bone Cracker. I don't know who it's written from, and you guys are going to have to help me out on that, because I don't want to cite something and it being valid, but <clears throat> you can just look it up, I'll provide a link, and it's very interesting, and I saw it. He provides a dichotomy change where these bad boy alpha males are actually omegas. Now, ordinarily... You would learn that an Omega male is a super beta virgin for life, basically. And that's not the case. In human society, the Omega is the guy that gets the harem. But he doesn't have a very high social value. And at the same time, he doesn't get the best looking chick. Now, the best looking chick is settled for the alpha male who he doesn't get the most chicks but he gets the best so he's sort of like in this quality over quantity state and if one chick leaves he'll get the next best looking girl or the other ten point is if the Omega probably gets nines at best He's not going to be the guy that goes around getting 10s. And then there's the betas that they're, they have the second, third, fourth place value. They're the average guys and they get the second, third, fourth, fifth best, you know, second to third tier women. And that's just how it works. They're basically a second choice. But they still win out because there can never be more than one alpha. You're going to have to get a new group if you want to be the alpha male of that one. It is a hard knock life. Now, what we associate as beta is actually zeta. And these are the weak-willed guys that basically get beaten down and shit. So this would basically be just the guys that really don't have the will to continue this tough journey. And a lot of beta males get turned into zetas due to feminist culture. They get turned into pussy guys because they don't want to play the game. They don't want to suffer through a broken system. And that's what happens. Society turns them into weak-willed pussies thinking they're the shit because of it and just studying all of this it's a weird dichotomy change because in the alpha in terms of other species is kinda like the one that gets all the girls because he has the best genes and the rest of the animals just get nothing it's surprising that in human civilization, we've adapted, well, centuries ago, not now, that the alpha just gets the best, not the most. So that the other guys get theirs, and society's working, it's functional. There's people that live on to build civilization, and then they get the best, they get the second to third best, and it's all good. 
and then the dickheads that are the bad boys who really have the bad jeans, the jeans we don't want, they get the crappy ass harem. But nowadays, because society's all fucked up, their harem is out of control. Before, if their harem went too out of control, then they'd probably get kicked out or beaten up, kind of like Roosh. I mean, Roosh is getting a lot of shit now because he's going to these places in Eastern Europe that are still functional as hell, or South America that's not in shit river, and he's getting his ass kicked. I mean, not literally, but the media is on his case whenever he goes to a new place. And to this day, I was thinking, man, I wanted Roosh to bang my nation. I want new Roosh to come over to my island and fuck my girls. That would be so fucking awesome. But that's not the case, because then he'll get his ass beat. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> and it's fucked up, but... It makes you think that as bad as we have it now, maybe a society that's not in decline isn't any better, too. Because to me, I've always been quantity over quality. And now I realize that you can get her for that shit, for being a criminal bad boy seeking... seeking quantity over quality. I mean, I understand it's the best for human society, but I guess things are fucked up. Maybe there are advantages to a degenerate society. I mean, if we think about it, the music I listen to isn't very high class. Any rock I listen to that are really angry or really satanic, or any metal I listen not metal. Any rap I listen to is actually really angry or really criminal. So, <clears throat> that just changes the whole dichotomy. It really makes me think about both sides of the coin. And it also changes everything I think about politics, because if you look at it this way, I can no longer say that why can't what I think actually be applied and also I can't just sit back and watch the decline because I realize that even in death even in Danidos or Vanidos I don't know how to fucking pronounce that word there are advantages there are things to pursue Tanidos? Um, Vanados, it's like the death drive, the drive towards death and extinction, there are some advantages to that, and these are the shits that I didn't realize before, so I guess you can say it's a lot of things that you gotta put into perspective, I mean, I guess you can also say that if you live a very unhealthy life, eating shitty get really spicy, tasty food and that there's some pleasures towards that. There's some pleasures towards a death drive. And there's no such thing as an unnatural culture. I learned about it in this book that I should be making a review about uh, once I start reading it, but you know me, I'm not a really big reader. That's something I gotta work out before I turn 18 and shit. Being a bigger reader, but... <laughs> Again, there's no such thing as an unnatural culture. There's no such thing as a large social movement that's unnatural. It's all reflective on some possibility, either genetically or mimetically, of human beings. And I hope that... People can watch this video to say this, because this is probably some deep shit. And considering this is Mishwaka 7, I don't say really deep shit. I usually say very fluff up shit. Like, I try to sound smart. That's the biggest thing I'm worried about. 
They try to sound smart to find the truth. Yet, that's not how it works. You can't operate like that. Truth is truth. Objectivity. You gotta. You can't just sound really smart and expect the herd to comply and then you find the truth that way. You gotta really think deeply about this shit. And because of this, I gotta think what's the moral to all of this? And we're in this situation where you can either start stay where you are, which is on the have nots and continue to live in this fucked up culture establishing a harem or join the betas and maybe even an alpha become that and just get less but better and save culture as well which you can't do by the way as Gras said in his uh, latest video so just it's kind of satisfying in that way that you can't really you can't be this guy that's trying to save the world or this revolutionary crusader because it's one thing to be ambitious and try to do ambitious shit but at the same time even if it's all been done before there's advantages and disadvantages to everything and what little control you have and you can change shit with or little controls that you can find everywhere it's it's all a matter of what you do with it that's a big lesson here life is what you can do with it I know that's corny as hell but that's the message we're gonna go with this one life is what you make of it and I can't believe I found that message through a really weird book about pickup. And it was a very dry book. Like it gave this really cynical message and based on that cynical message, his method was just dry. It's not like newer pickup artistry books that try to focus on building rapport or shit like that. It's more like dry you go in to get the girl ASAP once you get it you throw her ass out and it just makes me think as cynical as I am as a person I'm not that cynical yet I'm not that bitter and fucked up so uh, there you go this has been another Mr. Waka 7 video uh, suck the dick I don't know how to make another video as a tad on to this shit I'm not like the kind of person I was before where I made like nine videos a fucking day. Yeah, just suck my dick. That's it.